Okay. Not really. I just wish I could have gone straight from the airport to Finn's place. Me too. But Finn wanted some time to tell Violet about Gregory, and that's just too tough, so. I don't blame him. I just. I know. I know. I know. Do you know what? We're going to have to tell them everything at some point, so we might as well get it over with. Ready for this? Not sure I'll ever be ready. But wait, is it going to make it any easier? Poor Ned. Huh. You know, I bet you Tracy would support your musical side had Brooklyn not decided to follow in our mutual footsteps. Well, thank you. If Brooklyn just got online and lived her life the way my mother wanted, my mother would never respect her. Uh, and Brooklyn would be miserable. <laughs> my mother will never admit it. She loves the way Brooklyn stands up to her. Oh, I love it too. Mm. <laughs> hey. Hey, what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be on a plane, sipping champagne, watching another little plane on the screen in front of you get closer and closer to Rome? Hey, what's the matter? Was your flight canceled? <laughs> Now that you have nearly rubbed Gregory's good luck charm to shreds, do you feel its luck coursing through your veins? Not if luck and anxiety feel the same way. Fine, well then put it away. Take a deep breath because you don't need luck. You have a brilliant attorney pleading your case. Perhaps you know her name, Alexis David? Who do you think is our esteemed colleague? Something about him looks familiar. <laughs> 